I think sometimes when uh, particularly our regular congregation come to church, they think, why on earth are we singing those hymns? Sometimes think, why have they been chosen? Well, a reassurance to those of you that are part of St Mary's that Edward, Sean and I uh, and Tim spend quite a lot of time each month looking at the readings, looking at the hymns and making sure that they, um, they match uh, together. And um, today we are going to be singing. If you'd like to turn your page over, so you've got to the middle of the booklet that's got the Advent wreath on. We're going to be singing a song uh, that's called Longing for Light, We Wait in Darkness. And when I was looking at the readings that have been set for today that we've just heard, um, to me, this song really captures um, a lot of what was being said in there. Um, It speaks to me of what Isaiah was saying in chapter 35. And it really relates to the words that Matthew used when he's talking about John the Baptist. So John the Baptist was um, Jesus' cousin, Uh, His mother, Elizabeth, and Mary had met together and both realized that they were expecting um, children, and John's father, Zechariah, was told that he would be the messenger, the one who would proclaim that Jesus was coming. But at this point in Matthew, John the Baptist is in prison, and he's asking, is Jesus, are you the one that's coming? Or should we be expecting somebody else? And it's Jesus' response in Matthew that's mirroring the words um, in Isaiah 35. And I'll talk about that in a, mo- a bit more in a moment. But the words in this song really bring them to life. So the first verse is, Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, you turn, we turn to you. Make us your own your holy people, light for the world to see. And as we approach the birth of Jesus at Christmas time, um, we're waiting for Jesus who's going to be the light of the world. So the lights are sparkling in here. It's dull enough to see that Wendover Village is sparkling with all the the tree lights on. Um, No doubt you'll have lights um, in your homes, outside your homes. Um, And we're really aware of the darkness around us um, at this time of year. We need light, we need light to see our way. And as I say, John the Baptist came to be the messenger who comes to tell us that Jesus the Messiah will come and be among us. And as we read on in the hymn, we hear that our world is troubled. Many despair, many are hungry, many are thirsty, many are homeless, many are cold and there are people who are yearning to belong. And if we look around our world, we're so aware of all of those things for people, Um, those that are caught up in war in the Ukraine, and we're hearing continuing bombing and the destruction and damage there, Um, of the people who are having to flee as refugees, um, and coming. we have some here uh, living amongst us in Wendover, Um, We're very aware of the cold, particularly today. No doubt you all had to scrape your windscreens. Um, And and aware of people um, around us whose bills are are going up. And actually, here the bills are going up. The November gas bill hit the inbox on Sunday for £612. In October, it had been 250. And I'm sure your bills are doing exactly the same thing. And of course what it means is that there are people who are frightened and having to make decisions about whether they warm their homes or feed themselves. And in all honesty, for us in 2022, it's not what we expect, but it's what's really going on. The song continues about the longing for light. Um, we want to, as we, people wait in despair, They long to hear for peace, for hope, for food, for water, for shelter, and for warmth. And as I said in Matthew, the promise of Jesus is someone who will bring hope and bring freedom 
shelter and joy. And what we have to work out is how we help them make this happen. Help to make our Bible come alive and true for people who are despairing and hurting. Isaiah wrote at a time when the people that he lived amongst had been in despair, in exile. And he was promising them that in the desert and parched lands there would be a change, there'd be a breaking out of joy um, and uh, that when God will come and bring hope. And we hear the words that the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf will be unstopped, the water will gush forth in the wilderness and the streams in the desert will be like a highway. And the chorus to the song um, is Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine in the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered today. And actually that fits beautifully with baptism as well. Because what we're doing is welcoming Esme into God's family. Um, and one of the symbols is, um, I will give Esme, well I won't give actually her, but give perhaps James or Abby to hold a candle. And we'll be lighting that candle from this candle here, uh, the one with the patent cross on, that we first lit at six o'clock on Easter morning. So the new light of Easter, and we continue to use that light through our church's year. And we'll light a candle and give it to Ismé, and the words I will use will be shine as a light in the world. Because Jesus came to be the light of the world, and each baptised person needs to shine that light. So it's shining into the darkness um, and finding ways to do that. Here in Wendo, we've started a warm welcome uh, place and people are volunteering to, to welcome people where they can be warm and be with people. We continue to sort, um, support the food banks, um, but there are all sorts of ways that we all need to go and to uh, be the lights in the world, giving people hope and joy. So that's the message. As we go out today, we need to be thinking what we can do to bring some light and some joy. And just some very quick notices. Um, this afternoon, uh, there is a walk fr uh, from the clock tower at two o'clock. Um, if you're doing that, you need to wrap up very warm. Um, but that's happening. Um, next Sunday, <coughs> excuse me, at seven o'clock, We've got our carols by candlelight, um, so everybody's invited to that. We'll be serving mulled wine and mince pies afterwards. So if you're part of St Mary's, would you bring some mince pies in, please, um, for them? That would be really, really helpful. And then if you receive our update, you would have seen something that says you're invited to come on the 21st, um, on the, in that after Wednesday afternoon. Um, we're going to have tea and cake and just gathering people together um, in that week as in, before Christmas, 2 till 3.30, and everybody's welcome. I think those are the main things uh, for now. Mm -hmm.